All right, guys, so I'm here with Jandy. We're gonna go over a couple of their products. I'm here with David. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Thanks good. for stopping by. Yeah, definitely, so let's talk about some stuff. Yeah, so um, uh, probably um, some point, in, uh, it looks like March right now, we're gonna be uh, releasing our new uh, Alexa skill for our Aqualink uh, automation systems. Oh, cool. It'll work with uh, Aqualink Z4, Aqualink GDA, and Aqualink RS, any of them. Um, one of the really nice things about this new skill is we're taking advantage of um, of the Alexa home automation uh, platform. Okay. So the really nice thing about this is you're not going to have to use any special words to invoke the skill. You want it to say things like uh, like Alexa ask Aqualink to. You say Alexa, turn on my spa. Oh, nice, as simple. Far, as far as Alexa's concerned, your spa is a light switch. Hmm. Uh, your spa heater is a light switch. If you want to create a routine within Alexa, when I say uh, uh, you know uh, 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 Alexa, it's spa time. Uh, she can then just turn on your spa and turn on your spa heater and automatically go to your heater set points. Really simple, really easy. Our research basically said that you know people love the promise of an Alexa skill, uh, but in fact, if they have to use special words to invoke the skill, they find it very frustrating because, for instance, if you want to say, um, you know, tell, um, tell my pool to do this, um, you know, but maybe you say, uh, Alexa, tell the pool, right? Or, you know, you say, tell the spa, right? Well, if it's not quite the right words, it doesn't always, it doesn't always work right. So essentially, we're going to use the home automation platform just to make it really simple for people. Cool. And we're only going to put in the most basic commands in the first release. Mm -hmm. um, things like you know the spa, the pool pump, you know, temperature setting, um, you know, t uh, 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 being able to enable you know the pool or spa heater and such. Um, but we're going to continuously release more and more features for it as time goes on. So we're really excited about it. Awesome. It's something that people have definitely been asking for. And the other nice thing about it is, as long as they've got an Aqualink system and they've got iAqualink, they're ready to go. You don't need any new firmware in this system. You don't need any new antennas. It could be, it could be the old IQ900 antenna you installed four years ago for your customer. All they need um, is, a, is an Echo, and they need to know their iAqualink uh, account, username and password, and they can set it up on their own. Wow, plug and play. Yep, it's, it's, uh, it's really straightforward that way. It works really smooth. It's a, it's a nice way to use your pool and spa for sure. Awesome, guys. Well, stay tuned for that uh, Alexa option here in the future. And you said it's coming out. Uh, uh, we're expecting it sometime, kind of mid to late March. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, awesome, David. Thanks for explaining that. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks for stepping by. Definitely.